Hello guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. So we're going out there to face the music. Oh, poor guy, he can't get in. I'll shed a tear or two for him. So we're exploring the second floor of the... Oh, is that General Grievous? Looks like him. And... What is your story? I, I don't trust anybody who appears to be dead in this in this game or in this entire franchise for that matter. Okay. This that's just some guy. If if, if he's not turning around, I'm going to ignore him for now. Oh, men's locker room. Well, we should probably stay out of it. Right? Hey, I got another red flower. I mean, red herb, you know. I don't think you can combine with that. Nope, our dream of uh, making a super red herb has been mercilessly shattered. You know what? I actually have kind of forgotten the original mission. What did Marvin do? Kind of oh, shit! Son of a... I totally forgot that was even a thing. And... Uh, no idea. Come on, give me something. Flame round! That would be really cool if I had a weapon that could use it. Portable safe. We'll have to deal with that. What is this? Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up to, uh, his corresponding lamp. Like them all to open the safe, the buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. So it's a mini puzzle. That's ex exactly my specialty. This is my forte. I am extremely good at this. <sighs> no. I'm just kidding. By the way, this is going to take some time. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the first one. Wait a second. Oh, there's, there's no first one. Just gotta f find it in order, I guess. So. Oh, wait. So far, so good. Nope. Um, it's already chaotic for me. One hour later. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, give me some good stuff. Oh, a spare key. That is most welcome. And we know where to use that. Obviously, we can't go forward yet. Check out a map just to see if there's anything we're missing. That guy's still up there. Are you gonna get up? I I don't know what what is what is his deal? Like, is he trying to get out? That would be a really unfortunate idea. What are you on? You're not. Oh shoot! See, if this wasn't barricaded, he would have been able to get in. This control is so smooth. Can't use this yet. We uh, we only need one of them. And uh, let's put the spare key to use, okay? 
there, there's like no need to store it. You can just use it right now and get some good stuff pronto. Now, where is the room again? Uh, this is the west office, not the west office. Oh, safety deposit room. Here we go. Now, it's it's a matter of choosing between two and three. So let's see what we can get with... If we get if we put two here, we'll be able to get... I think that's another roll of film. And three is a another little dagger. Just another dagger. Uh, two or three. Oh, that's extra backpack. I really want that, but we need both spare keys. Also, if we put in two, we can get some more ammo that we can't use. So, it's all. It's always going to be something that's useful and something that's not. I think. Uh, what if we, if we put in three, we really can only get one item, but that is the dagger that's like more useful, and I'm, my dagger is a little worn down. <sighs> Let's see this again. Oh, I don't think that's a roll of film, that's, uh, that's actually ammo. So. I'm not really ammo, that's gunpowder. So let's just uh, put in two and we get Isn't it nice to be able to collect all this stuff without anybody bothering you? Okay, there's a safe in the west office. We're gonna have to work on that later. That dude is still out there. It's crazy. So, like the first Resident Evil, we're gonna have to double back a lot go back and forth double track triple tracking the same area over and over again just to progress uh if that's a little if that gets boring i'm really sorry but there's no getting around it because that's really how Ooh. um he's he's fine should i take care of him right now because he is kind of like hanging around the, the entrance to my safe room. That's insanely not cool. I think uh, I was going to say during the last episode, but I don't think I finished my train of thought, is that I was surprised at how little monster, sh specifically zombie shooting there was in the last game in RE1. Because growing up, I always had the impression that Resident Evil is like the quintessential zombie game. And turns out the zombie shooting really isn't that big of a part. What the hell? Oh, it's just a freaking statue. Damn it. I uh, have no idea about this. So, part. Well, uh, but then I played Resident Evil 1 and. Not only was zombie like just a really small part of the game, like probably just only the first part of the game. We got a special key. It is the spade key. Nice. But not only was zombie not a big part of the monster collection, we primarily had to deal with, you know, hunters, dogs, uh, the, the zombies with a little red 
coloring, what they call crimson heads. They're not even real zombies anymore. They're, they're like much more evolved monsters. And we had to deal with uh, crows, like hornets and uh, sharks. Freaking sharks, really? Like, and the, the giant snake. Like, it just surprised me just how how little zombies were actually featured in the game. But another thing is that monster shooting in general was not that heavy. What was that? What the shit? I don't think this was in the Leon campaign. Was that a you know what? Okay, I'm getting a little scared. Um, okay, I'm gonna check out the uh, end of the room, see if there's anything for me. There is. To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fox that look like they were skinned alive lickers we call them they're blind as bats but they're hearing more than makes up for that so long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns are blazing you should be able to slip right by them probably either way make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them eh anyway now that i want to go but duty calls that and that and i've got a friend to avenge david Okay. Am I supposed to be running into Lakers already? So really, any any time you are playing a Resident Evil game, like at the beginning, you're exploring a new locale. A new landscape, a new level. You you know that's like. That's, that, you know you're not gonna find everything in one go. You're not gonna be able to interact with everything. You're not gonna solve every puzzle. Hell, you you'd be lucky if you solve one or two puzzles. What the shit is that? We also got we we can grab the board, but I'm just gonna leave it here for now. By the way, look, check out how great the map is. It will, if, once you encounter it, it will mark the, that for you. So you can always look at the map for future references. Just freaking awesome design. So I think I'm safe here. Like, I don't need to walk that slowly. If... Right? Oh my god, the creepy sound. Like, I know I've played this game before, so I sh probably shouldn't be this intense, but... Like, that was another campaign. I know things are probably going to be a little different. This is a C4 he sticked here, and um, nothing I can do about it. No, I don't think so. Okay, some guy scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, you own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Wow. So, this is probably the sheriff. This is talking to a cop and he's his superior. That's messed up. Oh, hip-hop. 
this is like the most beautiful thing you can possibly find in this game is more inventory space. So with with that expanded space, I'm going to go grab the board. Where is it again? Hey, that's a nice piece of clock. Clock sets are very common puzzle pieces in Resident Evil, but I don't think that one is. I'm boarding the next to window that has a zombie clambering on them. Yep, there's I'm not alone here. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. Alright, I'm on my way. So if you you'd think that Claire can just uh, step over here and make a very easy leap to the other side, but no, she can't do that. Just kind of annoying. Anything around here? Nope. So, uh, having played the game, I know for a fact that if you step over here, you're gonna fall to the ground. So I'm just not gonna do that. Why would I? Uh, this is the library of the station. For a police station, the library is pretty impressive. Oh, a lot of cops died here. I wonder if they really died, though. Oh, thanks for the little dagger. I'm just gonna use it on you. And you too. I feel better now. So I know you don't have to kill everyone, but trust me, it's a good idea to kill all of them. Take the red book. For that matter, let's examine it. It's an art project, an art object, a piece of plastic shaped like a book. It looks like it was being held by a hand at some point. Can open it. <coughs> I knew. It. I knew it. Really? Son of a bitch. Some of these guys are definitely bullet sponges. You are actually going to get up. You fucking... Get down. Be a good boy. I think I just wasted an entire dagger on this guy. Hey, you. Stop that. Not good. Holy shit. Well, kudos to the sound design. I actually only noticed this guy getting up because of the sound he was making at the other direction. I guess my headphone is working pretty well too. At least you guys are together. In one big pile. I can't even tell one limb from another. Well, let's, let's just say there's a reason I'm very intent on killing everybody in this room. It's going to make my it's going to make it easier for the future. Let's just leave it like that. And 
Look at that. So, yeah, it's telling me to read a file. That's probably a good idea. Uh, this is the unicorn one. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Shit. The unicorn is uh, two fish, a scorpion, and what appears to be pouring water out of a jar. So, double fish, scorpion, and is, th is that what it is? Nope, pouring what? Pouring, pouring whatever that is from uh, whatever that is. Yay, unicorn medallion. Huh. The door is locked. And we have a thing here with that, that we cannot use. But we can't pick it up yet. And I'm not giving up anything else. Fortunately, the, the map is going to no note it down for me. I freaking love this map. Use the key. Hey, we're back out of the main hall. And here's another one. But you don't have space to take them anyway. Let's get back to Martin and see what he wants. Marvin, sorry, Marvin. There you are. Come here. Grunty. What is it? Take a look. Oh my God, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think. Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard, the second floor east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Hang there, Marvin. I'm counting on you. That is a 1998 little laptop. My father had a laptop uh, around that time. I remember playing around with it. I remember playing... I... What I think is fifth or ninety-seven on that computer. I like it, it triggers some fond memories. I I wasn't a big fan of the machine though. It was I I I'm not completely sure of the what kind of laptop it was. Obviously, I didn't know shit about those machines, but I knew. But I know it's a Lenovo something. Let's just put this here. So Elliot was right. Yeah, we're not out of here yet. Yeah. <laughs> this is some wacky police station to have things like that in here. But just like the Spencer mentioned, it's not supposed to make sense. Uh, let's try this one. This is the lion. The lion is, uh, well, a lion. Some... Feathers, or was that a twi- what, whatever the hell, and I think it's a phoenix. So lion, there you are. I think this is. Uh oh, maybe this is an arrow, or maybe it's a branch. I have no idea. Doesn't matter though. Let's just put it right in. Oh, Marvin's in pain. Let's see if there's anything else we can take care of. I don't think there should be. Because we took everything from this place the last time. 
um I don't know, can we use the red book here? In the spirit of saving space, I think I'm gonna put at least one knife in there. The red book, oh, I'll just go back for it wherever it's needed. I, act I actually, I'm not pretending right now, I actually don't remember where the red book is supposed to be used in I just I'll take the I'll, I'll take the board with me and we'll save the game again it's so nice to be able to save w uh, like whenever you want to however many times you want to where am I supposed to go again Oh, by the way, this door can be opened. I mean, there's no real point of opening this right now, but I just want to go with it for future convenience purposes. Whoa. Okay, something's wrong with uh, my PS4's connection to the internet, but I'm not really needing it right now, so I'm just going to ignore it. I do believe we have never been in this part yet. So this is going to be exciting. It's always exciting to like open a new door in Resident Evil. I should have taken the red herb with me. And there's another safe. We'll come back to it once we have the password. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Rancor City. Did you know? <clears throat> well, we're the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Oh, right. That's like... I was going to make a point of it. Like, Raccoon City really is defined by Umbrella Corporation. Even the welcome sign says something like, Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. Okay, Raccoon City is a vibrant and a dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. So this is the game's attempt to kind of explain why things in the police station are so wacky. Like why there's so many puzzle elements <laughs> in the police station of all things. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and the citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Really? I have, I have a bit of a hard time believing anybody would be so hard pressed to treat an orphanage like a tourist destination. I mean, that's, it's obvious that... Turns a museum into a police station. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous, but you know what? I'll go with it. Oh, the key is... We no longer need the key. So let's discard it. We don't want... I don't want to be too sentimental about that. I don't want it to take up an extra space. You know what? Let's go get the... Oh, I do already have a board, don't I? I do. But I can just take another one without taking up another space, I think. This one says art room. So the police station actually has an art room. Does nobody think that's strange? here something's missing here uh, nothing we can do about it now let's check out the art room uh, the red stone the ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine 
there is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jewel the box and it was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But, dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned the caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs somewhere, something in the hearts of people everywhere. That was kind of useless information. Uh, weapons locker key card. I know where to. I know that this is also in the room where it's missing two spare keys. What is what is it called? Some storeroom, whatever. Oh. I remember now. Let's uh put the hand in here. It's still missing something. I know, I know. I know what it's I know what it's missing now. But let's explore the area first, shall we? Well, that's no good. Why do helicopters always have to crash in video games? Like, th this is exactly the same thing that happened in Tomb Raider. I'm gonna go back here. Again, uh, sorry for all the backtracking, but it's inevitable and it really is a huge part of the game. Uh, I'm gonna take the yes, the red book. Oh, since I'm here, maybe, just maybe. Yes, I know about combining items, game. I'm an idiot. Mixed herb. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need two healing items yet. So I'm gonna store one of them. Actually, Claire is a little bit... No, she's completely fine. Why was she moaning? Recently, I've seen uh, an IGN video where they asked the developers of this game to watch a speedrun where the guy plays as Claire. And it's really a fascinating watch. Like, the guy at the very beginning allowed himself to be bitten, and uh, even the developers were wondering, like, are you sure you can do this? Like, you're getting injured from the get go. Turns out he was doing that on purpose because somehow getting bitten makes Claire. Like he, he, I don't know how he does it, but he he's able to get Claire to climb the stairs faster by hobbling than just uh, running normally. I don't even know how that works. I'm gonna go this way first. See what's going on. Okay. S hey. You okay? Do you need do you need a hand? Um. Okay. He, he doesn't need a hand. Hey! Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! Oops. Leon! We really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Please, Chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that Brad? I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I'm hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? 
Yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> Just me think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. I gotta go, too. Hey, Marvin. This is bad. Hey, a cutting tool. We've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Oh, no. The, that is not good. Do it. Great. Huh. Where the hell am I? Oh, I forgot to put the red book to the statue. Such an idiot. Shit. Uh oh. You asshole. I don't think he appreciates that. Ah, curse my what shooting. What? Oh, I don't have a knife anymore. That's pretty bad. Give me some moment to check the map here. Oh, I'm back here. And I just retrieved my knife. In all of chaos, I didn't even notice which 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 was the door that I just opened. Appear to have missed something in the fire escape. Well, that would not do. Been here. One at a time, I suppose. He's not getting out, is he? Well, maybe I can shoot him from here. Do you think I can do that? I can. Well, that makes it all that better. What the fuck? Well, Claire, you really should have like gotten used to it by now. I wonder if any more is going to climb in here. Maybe I should bore this, but. Like nobody's out there right now, and kind of want to save the boards. Oh, this is the the thing that killed this guy. Well, I'm not letting him out. Why would I? In fact, how did you get in here? Sorry, guys, I uh, forgot something. Oh, another piece of board. Oh, 
<laughs> Why would I want to open this door right now? So, uh, let's deal with this guy, I suppose. Oops. You, 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 you. You are not getting in here. I hope he doesn't smart up and just use the other window. A flash grenade. Uh, what does it do though? Guarantee to daze and stun enemies within its effective radius. So I can switch that with my knife as the sub weapon. Oh, here's another thing that I really like about this this inventory is you can pick up an extra item uh, when you have no more space in your inventory, provided that you can it can be combined with one of the things. Electric part, I don't have space for it. Shit. Oh, there are so many things I need to come back for. <laughs> oh, this place is gold. Look at all the stuff I'm leaving behind. Oh! Scare the shit out of me. What the hell? This guy, it's like no chill. What the hell? Get! I was kind of stuck by the corner of the freaking desk. Okay, uh, we're still at yellow, so it's not the worst. Mm. Look how fast it can be with sometimes. Rap. Seriously. Get the knife back. <laughs> oh god, oh god. This is Do I hear breaking glass behind me? I did not just hear breaking glass behind me. Oh, that's okay. He still doesn't know better. I can't take any of those things. But I can finally get out of here. Can I make the climb again? Nope. Claire is not crawling through that. It's way too messed up. So we're gonna need a fuse to open this door, but we we can't we don't have space for the fuse. So what I'm gonna do is uh I'll try to go back upstairs. Is that a little crazy? Maybe. Who can say? Wow, more ammo. This game is so far is pretty generous with the ammo. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. I just jinxed myself. So the way to go back upstairs without going back to the main hall is yes to the fire escape. We're going back to where we came from. Huh. Haven't been here for a while. But this, uh, if, if the place is blue uh, on the map, it means it's fully explored then. <coughs> Christ. That was a pretty well made reaction by Claire.
Hey guys. Hope you're doing well. And I see there's no point in trying to save the pilot. You guys gonna die by fire by the way? Just out of curiosity. So, uh, something's still alive there. Well, technically not alive. They cannot still be alive. Uh, so, I'm gonna put the... Wait a second. Oh, good thing you can just combine. I'm gonna be so mad if I have to go back to open up another inventory space just to come back. Yeah, it's mine. Let's see here. A short staff with a jewel. Oh, we don't really need a staff, we only need the jewel. Well, if that is the case, we probably could have just pry this open with the staff intact in his hands, right? We really did not need to go through all the trouble to get, this, get the whole thing pricey looking gemstone well I'm sure it's going to serve some additional purpose in this game we're not just getting it to to sell it on eBay or something well first of all I don't think that is a priority for Claire given her situation and her character second I don't think eBay was up yet in 1998 I could be wrong. I have no idea when eBay was established. I'm still at yellow. I will tolerate yellow. I wish I could combine the best parts of two knives, but that wouldn't make any sense. So, I'll come back for this. Right now, I'm just still going to be really optimistic and say we still only need one health item. Um... That's probably going to be it. Let's save the game again. I should probably create a few more save slots. Just in case something bad happens with the recording. It's always smart to have backups. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. I gotta hurry. Not very well, apparently. So what I, um, I'm just gonna head back there and grab all the things that I was missing from the other room. Let's see how many there are. Uh, one, two, three, four. At least the four items. Do I have four slots? No, I don't. Okay, this is supply run. I'm gonna keep some of the puzzle things back. Let's see here. Um, yep, that's it. That's exactly the amount of things I need to get. Hang there, Marvin. I'm coming back for you.
the amount of puzzles that I'm not. Whoa. What was that? Was that just the door? Oh no! I'm sorry, there was. Shit. It's like everything about him is on fire. I couldn't. I had, a, I had some trouble finding his head. You asshole. Yeah, that is the appropriate way to deal with this kind of person. Just here's a uh, pro tip for for all young girls who find th themselves in this kind of situation. Just. All the guy and an asshole followed by a shot to the head. So, what do we have? Gunpowder. Electrical fuse, this is the most important part. Well, not really, but... A handle and some more. Let's try to combine these. It's probably going to become something that I can't even use for now. Acid rounds. Ammo for a grenade launcher. Well, we better go get a grenade launcher. I mean, why wouldn't we want to get a grenade launcher? At any... A grenade launcher is good news at any rate. Go fuse. Hey Marvin, look what I did. <sighs> well, he doesn't look too good. I I best be on my way. Let's see where else should I go? Uh let's take a look at my inventory. This I can't use yet. Where do we need a red jewel? Again, I have no idea. I'm gonna take the card. Probably gonna use that pretty soon. Cutting tool better be with me at all times, just in case. So in order to get to, what is it, the safety deposit room? Yeah, West Office is a pretty good choice. As long as we, uh, as long as we don't have any friends left over. I do, yes, there's a safe in this room that we need to crack, but not yet. Are you going to be up? Okay. You can never can be too sure. Let's use the card. Hopefully we can dis discard the card. And here we go. GM79 grenade launcher. Capable of firing flame and acid rounds. Now that's just way too cool. And we have some rounds immediately. Can I combine them the uh, traditional way? No. 
Let's just reload them. Ready to use at a moment's notice. What was that? <sighs> that guy is the- Oh! By the way, what happened to the guy who fell down the stairs? I think- Is he in my safe room? He can't go get in this- what the shit is going on? Is it raining zombies here or something? Oh crap! Did she just talk? Oh, this erratic movement! I I found that the trick is to. Wow, look at me with this kind of performance. I'm talking about a trick. Well, I think it's better once you find the first shot. The following shots are easier because her, her head moves in a more predictable way. Anyway, I think that's um, another episode down. I'm having so much fun for this from this game. Uh, the next thing I can think of doing is that red uh, handle that we got. Why do I hear zombies here? Must must be my, must be my nerves. Well, the big red handle that we got, we still need to put that to use, and I think I think that's used to uh, on the third floor where there was a lot of steam in the bathroom. I think that's where it's used to. That's where I'm going first thing the next episode. So for now, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.